to the rather swampy and splintery area of Channelwood, which we have read about in the, the long, long ago, like six days ago now. I remember something about this now. Oh, the Tweed Dwellers. I can't wait to meet them. You'll have to pardon me. I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing the reference back. I'm sorry. So, this was the only thing we had time to investigate last time. We do appear to have some choices along the line. Switch it back and forth. Ah, uh, what do these power? Is the water being drawn from out here? From in the swamps? From whence I came? And then in that case, where is it being carried to? Who is drinking it with their sudsy lips? I see an island with a windmill. It's, um, startlingly lovely. Really. Hi! It's the sun. I looked directly into it for a second there. That was foolish. Can we have some sort of lattice work? Stairwell going up. Oh, it's it's just gorgeous. There was a way to run, wasn't there? Yes. All right. And do pardon my wild camera maneuvers. I'll try to smooth that out a bit. In fact, I may I may just do with a little less sensitivity. Let's check it. I'm awfully sensitive. Thirty-five. Yeah. Just a scooch. Just take it down. And... Slightly less whiplash-inducing. All right. So, perhaps to here. Perhaps this is where we are trying to push the water to. So that it will... I don't know, pressurize the hinges? Sure. That makes sense. Well, let's try to pressurize the hinges. Better check out Windmill Island first. This is the first official stream of the new year. Mr. Frog, I'm glad you're here for this speech. 2022, welcome all. Mr. Frog, you're just, um, right in my way. I don't want to squish you. I don't. Oh, there he went. Goodbye forever, Mr. Frog. Happy New Year. I hear this squeaking and creaking away. Maybe it's just screaming at me? I'm not sure. It could be sentient. Could be a sentient window. Hello, hello. It is so nice to see you there. Howdy, howdy, howdy. The small cowboy hat. No possible. Alright, water's coming out there. If you can hear me over the water, um, it's coming out from... It's so loud. It seems to pause it momentarily. I'm not sure what you do with such a skill. Eh. Pipe water flowing. Okay. That must be some sort of new tutorial message. See where this takes us. Now we actually have water flowing through it. As I'm sure you heard, <laughs> the water's a bit loud. I didn't notice. It's still just a touch loud. While I love the sound effects, oh, it's so nice to be able to whisper at you again. Hi. Hey there. While I love the sound effects, let's f hear, hear fewer of them, or less of them at a time. Take this down to 90. That'll be nice. Footsteps, I'm sure that's fine. I haven't been clunking around. Ambiance, let's take that down to 90. And dialogue at a full 100, yeah. Tell me. Tell me all the deets. I'm gonna... I'm gonna run the risk. There we go. Oh. Okay. Pardon me for one moment. I am now presentable. All right, back into it. It's still extensively loud, but l let me know how that sounds in comparison to my voice. 
And let me know which one you'd like me to use. Why, hello there, it's me. Or perhaps something saucier. So... Must be running down that side for now. Let's start there, since it seems to be quite short. Let's see what happens. Saucy, please. Oh. Oh, my. Well, if you insist. Okay. So I'm assuming I just need that later, perhaps? And this is like a way down. Maybe this is the Skyrim dungeon exit. Let's assume that's the case. I'm trying to figure out what's on that pulley over there. Let's pulley it closer to us, so that we may see... Hello, all. It is so nice to see you. A. Yes. All right. So nice to see you there, and Happy New Year. If you missed my earlier nostalgic ramblings about the year. No, it wasn't much, I, I promise. I'm not sure why we needed to run off this way into the, uh, uh, into the nothingness. I'm not sure why we needed to run to this bulbous machine tube here. But that is an option. I suppose we could power this, since it does have a lever. And then once powered, can we perhaps remove the lever? Is that possible? Because I certainly can't remove the lever now. No, that's a naughty... That's a naughty suggestion. Hmm. So that's an option. We could power that. Let's see what else we got here. Not seeing what the purpose of that would be. And... Here we have what appears to be an elevator. It sounds like it's powered. Hmm. Am I ready for this? Do I know enough information about the people of the Tweed Wellings? I'm not sure. I might need some sort of secret code phrase, lest I be accosted. Another sort of elevator situation over there. So, I'm gonna try it. Maybe we're not ready yet. Maybe this is all hideously unwise. Let's see what happens. There we go. Safety first. It's a very modern mechanism. Not sure what governs it. The wood, presumably. Smart wood. Governs the mechanism. And magic. My two favorite things. Get that dumb wood out of there. Give me some smart wood and magic. Oh, I'll accept the dumb wood. That's fine. I don't have a problem with it. It's lovely up here. Mmm. Couple of cicadas. I am... I'm full now. Thank you. But lovely up here. Let's head off this way. I'm sure the actual... you know, pattern to the land will become clear to us, and I'll know where to go. In no time, after exploring this old hovel that strikes my curiosity for no reason. Well, that's just way too tempting not to jump off. Come on. Come on. Maybe later. Maybe when you're older. Come on. now. We're in no rush. Alright, this looks to be a more proper house shape. Though I don't mean to insult you, Hot. You are stunning. In your architectural design, I'm just wondering if perhaps something of importance is placed in here, because... No, again, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean it like... <sighs> Wicker baskets. And that's all, really. Hmm. This looks like a very... sacred geometric object that we should promptly put into space and 
Forget about lest it become angry with us. Okay, nothing of importance there, despite its four walls and a roof. I say that now. Of course I've missed something. Of course I'm not smart enough to figure out the puzzle. Why would you have bet otherwise with your hard-earned doubloons? Okay, this seems to be a new area, I think. But maybe we're just winding our way back. I see a question in the chat there. How was my New Year's? One moment. Let me collect just an, uh, just another ounce of peace and quiet from from the settings menu. There. Mm, is that is it ambiance instead? I think that's why we're going wrong. Let's try ambiance. Oh, it's, it's still just oh. How do I say this? Loud as hell. <laughs> That's fine. It was very nice, very peaceful. I was just uh, hanging out with a... What was it that I had first? I had two things. And one of them was a, a single serving baked macaroni and cheese with panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs. And that was nice. But that was item number two in the sequence, and I'm not remembering what the first was. It was a very fancy meal with multiple courses, you see. All right, pulley system out there. Uh, lever for it here. Presumably, it will just drop it down there and become accessible? <laughs> I don't know why we'd need stairs and the elevator, is what I'm trying to figure out. Sure, some future puzzle will require both. Okay. You got it. Maybe that will help our progress later on. Let's continue down the path we were exploring. <coughs> Before I got distracted. Those there are some very vocal crickets, yes. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me. Okay, I'm sure I need to use this as part of the uh, part of the sequence, or at least throw a small cabbage into it for an achievement point. Come on, let me look out over here. We still have one path that way. I'm trying to keep it in my head. There's no more room in there. It's a fool's errand. It's a fool's head. So many baskets, and nowhere to be. No fashionable basket expo where I could wear these as a bustle and... Ooh, who's that? Who is new at the bustle expo, they will say. But no, I get they're, they're of no use to me. Not even at the bustle expo. I... Furious about it. Clearly furious in every way. I must have missed at least six or seven, like... Little paper notes attached to things. Is that what I'm not seeing here? Paper notes. That the people of the trees use to communicate with one another. Using a special language that they have developed in the trees. It's... it's... done. I promise. No more. <laughs> I just had to get the last of it out. I was recording earlier. It's not important. I wasn't recording anything German, but I wanted it to be, and now... Now I have to get it all out. Okay, so tiny paper notes. Where in the... Fudge... Basket... Seemingly nothing. We'll continue on. I don't believe I've had to, um, pick up anything. Like, I don't think I have an inventory, necessarily, that I know of yet. But I'm sure that will change, as I've barely set foot inside the game. Especially slow progress due to my cowardice. And timidity. 
Was that language agreed upon with a treaty? It was a tweety, but yes, it was. Long ago, the tweety was signed. And then we dwelt. <laughs> so this appears to be the only thing I've made happen, is I've opened a door. I'm sure I was supposed to make a lot of other stuff happen on the way here. But let's now see if, um, this is useful. Maybe it will once we power it. We'll race down here, see if we can switch the lines. I'm not sure still where we're actually trying to get power to go, though. I'm presuming it comes up here. And while we're up here, let's take a look. That seems like it would just power this elevator, but the elevator might go higher and take us one additional step. So, same plan. We'll see if this elevator leads us forward. Sorry. If anyone happens to get motion sick, um... <clears throat> now would be the time. Quick break, and... Oh, 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 oh we made it. Do pardon me for just one moment. I see we're still getting our rainbow connection as Guardian Bifrost um, broadcast bar up there. I'm so sorry for that little graphical hiccup. It's kind of gorgeous, though. It's nice to look at out of the corner of my eye. All right, switching it here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Assuming that power is this, let's go back up. If anyone gets motion sick, this is not the time. This is not under no circumstances. All right, now can we get to floor? How many is that? I forget. If it just takes me down, I'm gonna be so... Mm, why I oughta... Take me back to onesies. I'm gonna slap you upside the slats. That sounded much dirtier than I wanted it to. I would please accept my humble New Year's apologies. And perhaps a pudding. We're here. We've made it to level three. What hideous secrets slash genetically altered monkey people wait for us up here? Mm, I heard about them in the domes. I'm not just making it up. No, I'm not crazy. You have to believe me. I read about the monkey people in the tomes, but they were said to be quite friendly, so I don't know why I'm worried, really. Hello, sir. Madam. You two look like you might need some alone time with the spiky box. Fair enough. I'll check in on you crazy kids later. No, I am curious. Let's... let's do it. <laughs> what did you call me? What did you call my sister-in-law's mother? Okay, so this looks like a an ouchy bear trap that I don't want to touch. This is how mice um, sometimes get cheese, but sometimes not so much with the cheese getting. So we'll touch that in a second. Uh, goodbye for now. I feel like not touching it, though, is going to like mess us up. What if you have to lose your hand so that you can learn? What if that's part of the experience? Okay. No, I'm good. I don't... I didn't understand it the first time, so why would you try? I'm very close to your teeth. I'm gonna push it. Ah! Pac-Man hides within and startles me deep in my soul. Okay. 
I'm assuming we have to put something that fits in there. Or perhaps a human sacrifice. We'll find out soon. Pac-Man's hungry. Mm. I've had my fill of ghosts. Now I lust for the flesh of the living. Pac-Man, please. You're scaring the children. This is supposed to be a... Children. What is this? I'm scared to push it, and therefore I've chickened out three times in a row. Thrice roly. Let's try this one. Oh, I it's a message I thing. The right button, my dear brother. Did you? What a very interesting device you have. I don't feel very turned on. I'm not raising so anything important in my beginning to wonder. <laughs> Remember. He is preparing. Take only one page, my dear brother. Have you been stealing pages? Have you naughty boys been conspiring together while your father is lost in another age to steal his pages and try to supplement your own worlds by scratching out what he's written and I'm out of air, damn it! I tried to keep it going, but it uh, <laughs> What else do we have? This is very like Sebulba from from the prequel Star Wars movies. I'm liking it. I don't know what's being said. I'm not learning much. But I am liking it. Hello, hello. So nice to see you there. Mm. Bantha Poodoo. I understood that. I understood one phrase in there. Pretty sure he's trying to insult my pod racing skills. Okay. I didn't really see anything informational or catch anything informational in that. He said, take only one page. That's probably pretty informational. I'm assuming this is the one. Why did things get bloody here? Why are there suddenly creepy Pac-Man boxes and saws covered? Ah, oh, just dripping with human blood. Not for me to know? Rude to ask? Sorry. Sorry. The Grim Reaper's scythe and tongs. You didn't know about the tongs, did you? Yes. Very mythical. <laughs> okay, uh, let's poke around with our newfound page. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with it. Still don't feel as though I have anything worth poking in there. Let me double check there isn't like a backpack button. I'm not seeing. No? Front pack? Fanny fanny pack even is fine. I don't mind. That's interesting. It looks like you can toggle the uh, running so you don't have to press it. That would save my finger a lot of trouble. Let's head over to this side. Hmm. Yeah. It's creaky, that's definitely a ghost, so we're gonna just close that. Mm, it, it closed on its own, that's proof proof number two. I don't need more than that. We'll, we'll go back, I guess. We'll give it a second look. Ooh, there's old cheese. Is it cheese? Is it some form of ice cream cake? Either way, I'm starving. Um... I don't want to split this. I, I don't want to be rude. I found some discs. They appear to be made out of brain matter, and one of them is a fig. Okay, what am I... What am I looking at here? Uh, fig... Fig me this. Nothing? Nothing of import? Suspicious.
The fixtures are darling. I think we can all agree. Information, finally. Something about vault access. Let's read further. The, I'm gonna guess, Kids Funland of Mist. Uh, Ted, in very plain view, he agreed to be our nude model today. Mist and access can be. Ely, if the simple ode. First, locate switches on the island. F these switches to the go to the dock. Uh, mm, the marker switch off position. <laughs> okay. So I'm catching, catching some things. There are switches on the island. One of these switches? Something about these switches? At the dock. Marker switch off position. We must need another sign of this page. I'm also not, like, mm, picking it up. So maybe I should write down this information. Or maybe this is finally time for me to take a quick naughty snap of, uh, of the situation. Just so that we have this information, if we find ourselves lacking in brain power later. So, so sorry, I saw your request there, and then I was rambling right through it. Thank you. I will happily hydrate, yes. Okay, one second. Let me snap you. This is the very non-manual, non-analog cheating way to do it. I should, I should write it all down. And be a proper missed player. I should. I won't. But... And bedtime. Sleep my sweetness in your... Mm, well, it doesn't have posters. It's, it's a little below my usual standard for a bed, but... Usually requires six posters. So we found a blue page and a red page. The brother's progress will go hand in hand, I see. Okay. That one gets sucked into my magic fanny pack we're not talking about. We are not mentioning the fanny pack. Who got angry? Why? Was it just a sudden increase in bum size situation? Were you unprepared for the sudden increase in... No? Seemingly nothing else I can fondle. So, let's get out of here with our pages. Uh, not that I was, like, in the house where the pages live, trying to... F How do I phrase this? It's... I would love to take that knife. I'd love to take that knife and poke Pac-Man in the throat with it. See if he dies. But I guess that's not an option the programmers thought of, so... Moving on with my life. Goodbye! It was lovely to visit. How would I get back? Uh, you know, if you go, if you go through a book into a magical world that you've heard about in story and song, uh, how, how do you get back? What, um... Yeah... <laughs> Not entirely sure about that part. Let's see what else we can find down here. We have... Uh, information about the marker switches. I don't think we can use that in this age. We probably can only use it back on Mist Island proper. And we have a red and a blue page, which I'm assuming we need, again, to get back to Mist Island proper to make use of. So how do I either go back there or proceed? Hmm. I suppose I'm going to have to start poking at bridges. Maybe if you feed old cheese to Pac-Man. Does sound like a, you know, fill in his wedge. I don't mean to disparage Pac-Man as his own individual, but he has such a fill inable wedge there. That does make a certain sense. I did not seem to be able to interact with the cheese, but we will head back there if other pathways do not seem viable. All right, I'm going to switch you. Thank you. 
is not a bridge at the end of that one, but there is a bridge at the end of that one. I'm assuming I need to pick a lane here. Let me pick this one, since it has fewer to switch. see if this bridge will actually rise? Or is it lowered? No, it's definitely not lowered. Ah! A thousand ghosts come out of the sea! Oh no, those are the water effects. I'm sorry. I was startled for a second. What's over here? Tiny kittens giving smooches? And I'm missing out? Where are these tiny kittens giving smooches? Alright, I guess we need water here. It does not look nor sound active. That's why our friend here is having so much fun. Playing near it, as it is a uh, serene and meditative experience. Uh, I probably can't use that yet. So I'll just I'll just go. Thank you. How do we get this around? Ah, we're missing an entire section of pipe, but we are on the right side. There's our section of pipe. I wasn't expecting the problem to resolve itself that easily. I thought for sure I was going to have to find another piece. Well, hooray. All right, let's go connect that up. There is only one pipe to this distant house. Do I need to remove the bridge? In which case, how am I going to get back? Is that how they're going to make this complicated and sad for me? Good to know. Alright, so it needs to be going this way, then this way... I still don't know exactly what this is. It seems to just be an elevator, but we didn't use that one, to my knowledge. Maybe once it's powered on, we can head back there. Just to make sure we don't leave any sexy secrets behind in the swamp, that would be devastating. I think that's fine. Maybe the idea is that I have to find the right configuration to keep my bridge and let it flow this way? That might not be possible. We'll see. Maybe after the bridge is active, it stays. Full stop. Okay, should be water flowing all the way to that side. See what the state of this is. Seems in place. So yeah, once active, must not need to worry about it. Whew! Thank you for taking it easy on me, Mist. There are so many odd contraptions in this swamp. Who authorized these? Assuming that would bring it down for you, if you did not already have it, I'm gonna try going for it. Safety first. It's very important. I'm finally coming to learn this. Oh, it is so nice to be back in your company. Thank you guys for adventuring with me a bit here. Or puzzling it out. Depending on what we're doing. This appears to be a way back to the library. Mm. I'm ever so excited, Grandmama. I cannot wait to put those red and blue pages back in their rightful position at the library. But I'm not done poking around in the swamp yet. No, 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 no. There's one more elevator. That I, uh, maybe I'm crazy and we did already ascend triumphantly wearing 
purple robes. But I don't have any memory of this. I don't have any memory of purple robes. So how would I switch it into here? Well, gotta go around. Fair enough. That is fair. We're finally learning the ins and outs of the swamp. We've lost two frog friends to, I don't know, dark suicide. Though it's probably not all that severe for frogs. I mean, being amphibious. Alright, this is the one I'm not sure about, because this one with the spiral staircase we've definitely ascended, and they are not the same. So, let's try this. Still there. <coughs> so, but it didn't seem to have a lever at the bottom. If it activates with water flowing to it, but only from up there, how would we get to it? Kind of looks like it just has these walkways, right? No other egress, so that's probably our goal, where we'd like to get for the last thing hidden here. And we would descend. We would make the elevator return by... Hmm. So nice to see you there. I hope you're... Appointment goes well. <laughs> Your appointment for napping, I hope. It was so nice to see you. So, that seems to be something we have not uh, gotten. I'm not entirely sure how to activate it. We don't seem to be able to steal the levers from those. Hmm. All right. We'll come back to that. I'm hoping we can come back to Channelwood any time. And maybe my subconscious will figure it out while we're elsewhere, meeting new types of frogs. I'm not entirely sure how you get that elevator to come back down. Maybe it had something to do with that switch we hit that opened the door, like maybe there's another way to orient that. Try another upper level test later on. Ah, I'm so sorry, I never did answer your question. This is Mist, the 2020 remastered version, I believe. Or it could have even been earlier. Last year? I, I just almost said this year. That would be such a faux pas. It might have been 2021 remastered version. All right, let's see if this does, in fact, take us back to the library. So this is like a 20-some-year-old uh, game, and it now looks better than ever. Yeah, and it's like, originally it wasn't 3D environments, right? You just sort of, well, it was kind of a 3D environment, but you just clicked to advance your screen through it so it would pick your orientation for you, and then you solve the puzzles. But now it's a fully explorable world, it seems. Which has been impressing me greatly. I never got to play it back when it was just a point and click, but it's still impressing me greatly. So I have a page for each of these gentlemen. Um, they're rough and body attitudes, let, let's just be honest, have not made me super impressed, but I'm sure being trapped in a book uh, makes you a little bit demanding of strangers. And that's fair. It's fair when you get trapped in a book and you become surly and demanding of strangers. So what I'm not sure of is if we should uh, give them pages as we find them, or if we should, like, wait and choose who we trust to give pages to. I'm not sure if it uh, gets that deep. 
if there is a choice involved, or if I'm just supposed to be mm, plotting ahead. Let's put these pages in. Hmm. The other thing I did want to check, somewhere in here there was a diagram, seemingly, of these woods. I've lost my place. They seem to keep a bookmark within your session, but if you quit out of the game and then... Back. Not so much. So this future bridge diagram, I'm not sure if that would in any way help us get to where we're trying to go. I'm assuming that's probably the middle level, like not the ground, but the actual huts and then the long houses. Seems to be what those are. So I don't necessarily think we need to, like, copy this down and try to recreate it. <laughs> Could not remember the R word there. What was I what was I groping for? No no no, I do want you to be in yeah, in the bookshelf. So there are a couple of diagrams. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything we desperately need. We did all this reading during the last session. Stone ship age. I'm very much looking forward to that. Sounds lovely. Constellations. This is something I will probably need to figure. may be easiest just to take some pictures of them. However, what I think we need to do, what I did write down last time, let me get my paper out of the drawer here. Aha! Actual physical matter. What I did write down last time are the planetarium dates. What I'm assuming is planetarium, and I think those constellations will then make sense after our dates. So, to resolve my distrust of our gruff uh, book-laden brothers, I'm just going to leave their pages there for now. We'll feed you in a minute. Stay thirsty. Back to the planetarium. Let's see what we can find. Mm, stunning woodwork in here. I'm stunned. Somebody get me a biscuit. Lest I faint. Okay. How do I use this machine? right for a second. Yeah? Yeah! Alright. So my first one. So nice to see you for a bit. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you catch it later here. Or I hope to catch you again later. <laughs> no obligation. Is October 11th. So let's do... Hmm. Maybe they all use this. Yes. Alright. October. Now... 11th? That would be 1984, right? Hmm. And it was 10.04 a.m. This seems to be making sense with what we, uh, pulled out of the book here. So, 10, perfect, 04. Okay. That's, um, quite subtle, but that might be the Maple Leaf constellation we were just looking at. Let me try to take a quick... A quick stab at it. So, next to October 11th, there's three, I would say, in a triangle configuration with a little tail of four or so. Looks a little bit like a maple leaf. Next date is January 17th. Let me get back in the old machine. Ooh probably start from where we're starting. This one is 546. Probably go this way. Yeah. 546. Oh, no, no. I just want that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Glad I didn't mess that up. 
It was 1207. Very good year. No, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. Probably wasn't a good year at all. 1207. It was the 17th. And it was January. So close. It's nice that it gives me a little after image in case they're like, you you made sure you saw this, right? Thank you. I I'm such such a scatter brain. I really appreciate that. Alright, so this one I'm not sure what shape it applies to. We're gonna have to look at them again, but I'll just try to take it down here. Again, sort of a harsher downward facing triangle franked with flanked rather with sexy freckles it's hard to say all that at once Fra flanked with fra fla pep I'm gonna get some twitch guidelines sent to me okay November 23rd this is the last one something phased out of existence there I'm not sure what that big flash was Hopefully it wasn't my audio dying. November 23rd. The year is 9791. Hmm. Robots have definitely taken over by now. And if they haven't, well, they will hunt you until you die. And you deserve it, because, uh, because of the preceding 10,000 years, you see. So... Nine seven nine one. Mm. Mm. And it was six. My handwriting is very poor. I want to say fifty-seven. Six really poor handwriting. Fifty-seven. such a hard machine to use for some reason when they all go through that control. Oh, yes. Sexy freckles. It's reminding us. Thank you. So, November 23rd... Uh, I, was, I was sort of expecting the sexy freckles to go away by now. Otherwise, it makes me think they're related to this date, too. And that's confusing. Oh, that's confusing as hell. Is that telling me that I might have one wrong, then? That it does not have a, a proper constellation to replace the last one with? Or should I take those many background stars as my constellation? <laughs> November 23rd, 9791, 657. I think... I, th I think maybe my handwriting's off. We can go back and check that date, because that one definitely seems like we didn't get what we need out of it. That's okay. Sometimes you mess up, and you just have to go back and read the book again. That's fine. Where were those dates? I want to say they were in one of the lower books. But who would know? Oh, who would know but past me? It doesn't have much of anything, just the insignia of the pirates. This is all just diagrams, not that one. The Radiant Chasm, yes. Mm. That's where we have our... Keyboard keys. That's something I should probably take a picture of while I'm right here. I don't think I made a sketch of this last time. And I'm probably not going to successfully make a sketch of it. There. Just in case. Alright, end of that book. So it must be one of the top ones. We'll check here first. That definitely makes sense. 
We know that's probably the leave. Um, I don't know about this downward facing triangle. Snake, probably, yeah. So leaf and snake. We're just missing one. And I don't think it looked... Or what we saw back there looked like any of these. So, where... I thought it must have been like a list. Like a sketch. Rather than in the text. But I must be wrong. Let me check the first book. And I'm just trying to find dates. I thought they were all together in like a... Single page, at least. I'm not sure. Or was it even in one of these books? <laughs> Where did I get those dates? This definitely has the constellations. That's great. I got the dates from the tower up there, right? Yeah. So that would be, what, facing... I think I took a note of it. Planetarium, yeah. We can double-check if my handwriting's off. Okay, I'm assuming it's that one. I think we settled on... There doesn't seem to be a dock thing, but there is a planetarium thing. So, we'll jump up the tower. So sorry for an unnecessary elevator ride, but this will confirm whether or not I'm crazy. <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that. Even without the elevator ride. I am loving this game so far, though. I'm having so much fun weaseling out the old puzzles that kind of like all modern puzzles are in a way based off of. Mist had some far-reaching influence. So, dates. It was November 23rd, 9791, 657 p.m. That should be right. November 23rd? <laughs> Alright. We'll go input it again and see if I'm just not... not peeking hard enough. Always good to have confirmation. The, uh... only game that I've really played... There have been a couple of free ones that have come my way, like Touring Test and Numa was one of them that I really enjoyed, but the one that I went out of my way to play was The Witness. Being a Braid fan, and I would love to play that sometime, too. This reminds me of it and seems to be very lovingly a sort of uh, inspired product. So I would love to play more puzzle games if we're ever smart enough to make our way out of this one. All right, we know it, where we got the dates. We know what the date is. Let me put it in the planetarium one more time. See if we can suss out what the constellation is behind it. It might be that it's a sort of... Uh, pyramid shape. Yeah, that should be right. I'm really not seeing any discernible, uh, discernible constellation there. Ah, you might be right, yeah, that it's in... The other two were both AM, and so they would be 6.57 in a 12-hour clock. This one would be PM. What is that? 18.50? Yeah, 18.57. Thank you so much. Let's try that. I bet you're right. And what a cool solution. Take that, Americans. Ha! It 
went away. That must be good good news. All right, so we have two in the middle, a slightly smaller third above. These are the worst diagrams of constellations you're ever going to see. I promise. You have my, my sacred vow. It's not worth very much, but it's quite sacred. All right, let's check if we can find one that looks like that, and then we should have all of our information. And I'm assuming those tie into this little courtyard right here, where we have some symbols, such as the noble emu. Mm, I can't wait. So I'm assuming those are the symbols we're finding here. All right, why am I back in here? To look at the constellation book. Yeah, it's been 10 seconds, you managed to forget. Okay, I don't think it's the noble emu, though that is mm, a little bit familiar. Maybe, maybe our, our good friend, the six-legged spider. I think that's probably about the closest. I think it's spider leaf snake would be my guess. The only other one that would be close is emu, and it's not emu, so... Must be spider. So, do these have to be in a specific order? I'm not sure what to call this. It's not a spider. Is it a tick? Is it? Ew. Frankly. <laughs> one moment. I'll be right back. Just, just ew. And frankly, and... Okay. So, what will we do with the three symbols we have sussed out of the planetarium? Just activate them. Any old order. Doesn't matter. We don't need Count Olaf's ankle right now, thank you. We do need the snake. How majestic. We do need the tick. And... We don't need the anchor. Sorry, anchor. I got you excited for no reason. We don't need the arrow. Mm, CW verse is going to be devastated. And the maple leaf. Ooh, I see it rising back there, too. Very cool. Seemed to come up a little bit. Let's go see how much. Oh, it seems all the way up. Welcome back, boat. Hello, boat. Yes, hello, boat. You're such a boat. Brief musical interlude. Sorry, that's part of my contract. Looks like we only have the captain's cabin to, uh, deeply probe. <gasps> Captain? I didn't expect you to be so decent. Disappointed. We have another linking book. I wonder if this takes us to Stone Ship? Stone Ship Age? Very curious. Can't wait. Uh, be right back. So, I think that takes care of our planetarium puzzle. I'll leave this information here. What else have we not solved from our original set? We did the generator for the ship. We have the ship itself open, ready to do this keyboard puzzle which I have a picture of, so we can probably do the keyboard puzzle anytime. But ship seems like kind of a, mm, a tasty dessert item for later, doesn't it? Ship is like, ooh, when, once you solve all of your terrestrial puzzles, come and see me. So I think we can probably Elton John our way to greatness right there. I'll be right back. The other thing, I don't really know where it goes to. I have it marked as gears, because it's when you're on this map pointed at these gears here, which are right over here. So the thing points to gears, but the gears don't have any interactable space. It's just a marker switch. And it says 240, 221. The only thing I'm, I'm thinking could apply to 240 is this clock down here, 
or the clock tower it's connected to, rather. So let's say the 240 goes with this. Let's just say that. And return to it, yes. Alright, so that's two. And switch levers. Um, no? you ha yeah, you were right. There you go. Two forty. Now, ah, uh, I'm <laughs> thinking completely wrong. I'm a child of the digital age, and it hurts me. So this would be forty. Oh, the shame. The shame of being a child of the digital age. Is it different than I'm expecting? No. Starts at 12. Um, okay. I have the the hands mixed. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you had to see that. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. I guess that this is the hour hand. Because it's smaller. And... The button to switch was... There it is. Everyone has phones nowadays. It happens to the best of us. That's very kind of you. But look at me. Look at me just fumbling in front of the clock tower, making it feel outdated. <laughs> okay, so this is our final marker switch. We have not been able to activate this one yet. It is off. I'm assuming, like all of the other ones, we would like it on? Sure. Why not? Alright, and then what do we have here? Anything along the back side? You know me, I like to just <laughs> I like to get a peek at the back side. <laughs> Ooh Ah, three numbers. So is this where my two two one comes in? Two two one. It looks desperately complicated, like I really, I shouldn't mess it up, if it's at all possible. We have two levers on the machine, and then I don't know what this one connects to. I don't know what that one connects to. Let's try these first. Pull it a little bit, and then it rotates both... Both of the bottom ones? Okay. And this one, presumably... Both of the top. There's a 2-2-1 two, two, right there. Can I just take... Can we shift it? Just slightly? Could we just... I mean, it's all lined up. No? No, they're saying... I'm hearing now, in my earpiece. And it's a no. <laughs> okay. So there's our one. We just need to switch the middle gear. In order to switch the middle gear, you would... Ah, hold it down. Okay. Let me switch this back up to two. After I've held it down, no more. Fair enough. Ah, I see the weight uh, back there has made it all the way down, so I must need to put in the combination before we run out of weight, and this one must restore that weight. All right. So, I'm just going to take the bottom one to one. Quick as I can. And then top one to two. 
And then I should be able to hold it and let it come 2-2. Two, two. Okay. That looked good. did it do? Something's thrumming back here. I don't appreciate that necessarily. The thrumming. Hmm. Uh, okay. I don't know quite what uh, we've accomplished. Maybe there's a new... Maybe there's a new book somewhere. I would expect that book to be here, if anywhere. Yet I'm not seeing anything. Maybe we're not done. I don't necessarily want to reset, because I think we, we got it right. So maybe that just does something to the gears. Let's go check back by the gears, because that's where it was originally pointing. I think we're fine to leave that. I don't know what would have changed over here. Aha! Something has changed. Here is our book. Lovely. So this must be Mechanical Age, I think they called it. So we can go to Mechanical Age, we can go to Stone Ship Age, presumably, or we can do the keyboard. I'm not sure which world that goes to. The one we did go to is Channel Wood, which is under the tree there. I don't think we're missing anything else. I think that cabin just runs the elevator and the other brick house here just runs the ship, so we should be getting close. I guess the question is, do you want to go to stone ship, or do you want to go to mechanical? And then we might have to find a good uh, stopping point somewhere in there. Though we've made some nice progress here, this feels like we're on the right track, for now at least. <laughs> some stuff is starting to make sense. Ooh, do pardon me. So thirsty. We all like to get a peek at the backside. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> so, we went into that one. Let's just keep it grouped tightly together and we'll go into the ship first. We'll see if Stone Ship Age holds any wonders for us. If indeed that's what this is. Who's our. I don't know if there's air in this age. I get... oh, there, there better be, because I don't have much. I'm not bringing much with me. We're just going to assume that there's going to be air. It's fine. Oh, lovely lighting here. All right. We've rematerialized outside the poop deck. We appear to have run aground, and then been an influential part of the architecture going forward after that, after some time running aground. I cannot go in the water. That appears to be a fear of mine. Mm, nasty business, then. Filled with clowns. Ah! Keep the sun out of your eyes with a tasteful parasol. I like it. What am I looking at? What is this tasteful parasol doing for me? Boosh. Looks to be the crow's nest of another ship down below. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Don't push that. That's a naughty. 
do, do, do push this, though. Push it in some fashion. need to switch hands. Okay, putting it over here. It seems to have... I'm not sure what. Not very effective. Try straight down the middle. And then if this doesn't work, I'm assuming we're just missing a piece. the same. Let's see if we can get that working from another angle. We have a way inside the rock. We have a sort of lighthouse out here. Let's keep exploring the fringes first. Watch your step and your tootsies and your funny bone specifically. I'll take that. Yeah. Ah, uh, I can't take it very far, though, because it's connected to the roof. Hmm. Goodbye forever, Key. Oh, you take as much time as you need for physics to overtake you. That's fine. All right, what's up here? Nothing. That's a no-go zone. Maybe I do have to unlock it. Okay. Come here, you. Oh, it's just not long enough. I must need to cut it, then, I'm assuming. Let's check down here. Captain Cook's old chest. Full of doubloons and trinkets to trade. That's nice. All right. I can die down here. This is the way that I... Mm, this is how I die down here. I only leaked the once. And then... I'm assuming I can bring that up, and that's perhaps what I use the key on? If I can get it in the right position. Doesn't appear to be anything else down here. Mm. All right. Try to figure out how to raise that. Plenty of sharp glass. Can I just... Can I just grab a piece? I just grab a piece and then... No? That's decorative glass. That's for guests. Fair enough. What's out this way? Ah, the prow of the ship. Noble and proud. We ascend. We take a breather because I'm quite out of shape, and I enjoy the sunset. <laughs> we come upon Count Olaf's ankle again. What is he peeking at? Hmm. All manner of degrees are represented here. All of your favorites? 200, 210, they're here. Don't worry. What is it that I'm looking for? I'm gonna leave it somewhere around here. I'm 
assuming I will need to use that, but I don't know if it's ready to use yet. Let's check the inside of the mountain. More water? I'm too frightened. Let's check the other inside of the mountain. Mm, so much water. I'm so very, so very frightened. There's a door here. A very dimly lit door. The lighting of that door and my ideas for puzzle solutions have much in common, for both are very dim. So I seemingly cannot climb this ladder. Though I think you could probably wedge your fingies in there. I think you could. I'm trying to remember if there was anything in the novels about telescopic degrees. Is that something I should have written down? And information I now lack? Oh, deeply lack information. Because seemingly I can maneuver the telescope and I can use this machine, and those are my only potential for... Seems to be what I'm surmising. A little look along the floorboards. see any lighters or med kits or anything that I would dearly like to slap to my chest and shout we but that's okay I mean sometimes you don't you don't get to have it all and that can be a good character exercise hmm I'm not seeing anything interactable. To pick up or use down here. I seem to have wasted my one squirt. I clearly need to drain the inside of that rock, and it, it feels like they want me to fill this up in order to float the chest. It will follow the rope. The, the chest will pop right up here mm, in range if I fill this. So it's like, how do I remove water from inside here and move it to that side? Preferably by sundown, because I am getting quite sleepy. Allowing me to interact. Doesn't seem to be any way to get off this path. Mm -hmm. So, unless I just stumble upon a magic direction here, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. Zero. That's it. That's what I've chosen. Alright, no other interactable part of it. No items to grab. I think I'm just not ready for that yet. But it's hard to be sure. seen any items of use. It also feels like that area might drain under the right circumstances. Maybe I need to, like, switch this around. It doesn't make any different sound, but maybe it is draining some different areas or lining them up to. It doesn't seem to do anything at all, really. So it kind of feels like we're left with this tower as a starting point. What am I not seeing about this tower? That would dearly help me in, uh, in situations like these. I 
can't actually drag it across something sharp, like there's nothing in range here. Presumably. So, I am not sure what I need. It feels like we haven't done anything in here yet, like the very first... Oh, welcome to the area, here's a tutorial puzzle. I'm, I'm failing completely, <laughs> which is fair. Sometimes that's how it goes. This doesn't feel useful. I might be wrong. There's nothing to grab or unspool. So, unless I just uh, don't have some information from the books that I should have uh, kept track of, I don't know quite what I'm doing. We're out of numbers that make sense, right? Yeah, we opened the safe, we did the time clock, we did the gears, we did the voltage, we did the... Um, what's it called? Planetarium. There we go. So I don't think there's any more book information unused. What is it that I could possibly do with this telescope? I cannot raise or lower it. I can only go from side to side. doesn't help me when that little rainbow flickery thing goes off, and I'm like, ooh, it's a puzzle clue! Nope. It's a graphical glitch and a distraction. Nothing looks like diff through the lens than it does in the real world to me. what I would be looking for. Hmm. So, we were going to try to find a place to stop. I was hoping to get some progress before we hit that stopping point, <laughs> but so far, no progress. I must be missing something very simple and silly. Does anyone have a... Uh... Guaranteed clue that I could lean on there? Not a guaranteed clue, but uh, some sort of clue. I may need one at this point. I'm not quite sure what I'm poking. Though I hate to lean on you at a time like this. seen any way I could make that happen. So it's like I need to bring something here. doesn't seem to be any progress we can make in any of these water places, so it makes me curious that there's a door here. So if presumably I may have, like, let's say, missed... Uh, the book in the library that shows me where to point this. <laughs> Just going to scan the entire horizon for items of import.
I don't see anything. Oh, I don't see anything at all. <laughs> so sorry, I don't understand. Go slow. In what way? Sorry, I always hate trying to get to the solution of something without having any idea why I'm going there. How would I know to do this? This is the only thing that stands out in any way to me. A point on the rock. It's nowhere near 130-ish. Am, am I, like, supposed to be able to move this lens in different angles? Or is it only this one line? Questions I'm asking myself. So sorry. I think I had better just uh, come back when my subconscious is perhaps more caffeinated or better equipped for this. I don't know what I'm failing to see, and I'm sure it's screamingly obvious to all of you poor people who have played this before. I'm not sure. So, I'll go get something to eat, and we'll try this again next session. Lovely new age to be exploring. I guess there's no real point in heading back down. So sorry, just to double check, like, are you sure that's... <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to follow here. Am I trying to follow a guess, or am I trying to follow <laughs> actual for sure? Yeah, I will come back to this. Thank you guys very, very much for hanging out with me and for your time and patience. I will uh, find something to eat. I hope that your 2022 is starting off a little bit better than my stone ship age. And I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for attempting to help. I'm sorry I'm being so thick here. We will figure out what the issue is and progress. Bye for now. Love you lots.